Hi guys, I'm Abid Kumar and you are watching Live Grid. I usually make videos in Hindi, but considering the rising demand of 3D related content in English, I decided to make this video in the same language. Kindly note that this same video is also available in Hindi on this channel. If you are more comfortable in Hindi, then feel free to jump to that video. The link to that video is available on card in the description box and on the end screen. Let's focus on this video where I will explain how 3D glasses work. But before that, we must learn how many types of 3D glasses are available. They are usually available in two types, active and passive. Passive 3D glasses are also found in two types, anaglyph 3D glasses and polarized 3D glasses. So far, I have talked about three types of 3D glasses and in this video, I will explain the working mechanism of all of them. With that being said, let's roll the intro. The first thing that we will discuss today is how anaglyph 3D glasses work. For that, look at this glass very carefully, which is equipped with red lens on one side and blue on the other. That's why, why these type of glasses are also known as red cyan or red blue anaglyph 3D glass. Now look at this photo, which is a product of two overlapping images, one with a red filter and the other with a cyan filter that can also be referred to as blue. Now if you look at this image while wearing this glass, the red lens will only allow the blue light to pass and this lens will only allow the red light to pass. It means your eyes will see two slightly different version of the same image. The rest of the job which is processing the image will be done by your brain. And finally, you will feel a 3D effect even when watching a 2D image on a 2D screen. 3D glasses like this create excellent 3D sensation but compromise the sharpness and the punchiness of the color. 3D glasses provided in Indian movie theaters are not equipped with red and blue lenses. So you might be wondering how do they work? For that, we must understand the working mechanism of polarized 3D glasses because that's what we get in movie theaters. Polarized 3D glasses are also one of type passive 3D glasses. Hence, their working mechanism is similar to anaglyph 3D glasses to some extent. The main difference here is that polarized 3D glass manufacturers use polarization in lens instead of colorization. That's why polarized 3D glasses filter the polarization of the images rather than filtering red and blue colors. The different lenses of polarized 3D glasses allow two different sets of wavelengths to pass. That's why when you consume 3D content wearing such glasses, our eye perceives slightly different version of the same image. Then our brain comes into play for image processing and we feel like watching a 3D movie on a movie theater while the screen is only 2D. The ability of such glasses to create a feel of depth is impressive. Besides, they also help viewers to see punchy colors compared to red, blue and ugly 3D glasses. Active shutter 3D glasses are equipped with LCD shutter lenses. When the device delivers an image for the left eye, the glasses cover the right eye. As a result, the left eye sees the image on the display and vice versa for the other eye. This is a repetitive process that keeps occurring rapidly without any interruption. That's why we don't feel anything unusual except the enjoyment of watching a 3D movie wearing a high-tech 3D glass. Viewers typically see 3D video footage 120 times per second while wearing this glass. That's 60 times per second for each eye. It makes sense of 60 FPS. Unlike passive 3D glasses, this one usually runs on batteries. Technically, you can wear a 3D glass on your normal glass to watch a 3D movie. But 3D glasses feel uncomfortable to many people. Wearing that on a normal glass may feel even more painful. However, some specially crafted 3D glasses are available in the market that come with the solution. As they are equipped with curved and larger lenses, so they can comfortably fit on regular glasses. People with specs can pair their prescribed glasses with specially crafted 3D glasses to watch 3D movies without any discomfort or distortion. I recently read an article on LifeWare that states that active shutter 3D glasses work on projectors and plasma screen TVs. But you will need an anaglyph 3D glass to watch a 3D movie on a normal LCD or LED TV. Soon, I will practically show you the technique to watch 3D movies on normal television using such anaglyph glasses. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you don't want to miss that video. Red Cyan Anaglyph 3D glasses cost around 200 to 250 rupees in India, while you have to pay 
1000 or more to buy a polarized 3D glass. Active share 3D glasses are the costlier in the 3D glass family. To buy one of them, you may have to spend more than 2500. You will get the Indian Amazon affiliate link of some of the best 3D glasses in the description box. Guys, please note that I am an Amazon affiliate marketer and I will get a small amount of commission if you buy anything using my link. So if you have plans to purchase anything from Amazon, please use my link. And don't worry, Amazon will not charge you anything extra if you use my link to buy your stuff. The prices will be as usual. So that's all for today. This is Abir Kumar signing off.